you might say that this is like some conspiracy theory. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is what it looks like to me. What's up brothers, we are back at it with another video and this time we are gonna go over some recent Nintendo drama. Nintendo is back at it, so we're gonna go over these recent cases and I will let you guys know exactly why I believe this could be the worst timeline with Nintendo versus the Smash community. So one of the more recent events Riptide Tournament hosted in the US this past weekend, they a while ago announced this message that we can see here. Riptide was contacted recently by Nintendo representative regarding our Project Plus events. As a result of that conversation, there will be no P Plus tournaments or setups at Riptide. We will be contacting all attendees registered for P Plus events with further information and the updated refund request procedure shortly. Very sad for all the people, you know, flying out to the event, sad for the TOs having to deal with all this bull. As of today, LTC also got a message from Nintendo. Just today, we were contacted by Nintendo regarding P+, Beyond Melee, and 64 Remix. Unfortunately, as a result of that conversation, we are removing these events and we will soon be contacting all players registered for these events with further information regarding refunds. I think it's a few very, very crucial and important things to remember here. Roughly two weeks prior, both Riptide and LTC contacted by Nintendo, not giving the TOs a lot of notice. As a player, you probably already have your flight sorted out, maybe you're from out of state, maybe even from a different country. If you are coming from far away, you very likely will have your travel plan sorted out two weeks prior to a tournament, right? And yes, I know Smashers can be late and so on, but even most Smashers would be you know, having their tickets sorted out if they would attend. <laughs> so as a player, it could be very costly. You have spent a lot of money on flights and then Nintendo comes in and punish you for wanting to play some games, right? Very, very bad. And then as a TU, of course, it could be very costly. As we can see, both Riptide and LTC had refunds, right? With LTC, we can see here on their website, that competitor badge is 60 to 80 dollars depending on when you signed up so let's say 70 dollars hypothetically you have 300 players right planning on going to this event 300 people 70 dollar benefit fee that's 21 thousand dollars twenty one thousand dollars that you are risking people asking for a refund for and i mean you can't blame if someone wants a refund right but i think you guys can understand it can get very costly for tos a lot of tos historically have lost money hosting these tournaments putting in hours and hours of course they need players entering the tournaments so they actually at the very least can break even and even if the players like even if they get that refund for like 70 dollars they might have spent a lot of money on flights too. To me, the fact that they are contacting events so shortly beforehand, personally, I think this is pre-planned. Nintendo maximized damage. They contacted Riptide, right? And it's not like they contacted LTC at the same time. It was like they were waiting. It's like Riptide happening about two, two and a half weeks contacting them and then the same thing happens with LTC as well. You could argue that it's like a coincidence but personally I think they're gonna try to do this to many many other events as well. Historically these type of like disasters for Nintendo have been with Nintendo sponsored events. Sponsored events meaning some Splatoon ads, uh, not adding a single dollar to any price pools. So I mean, it's not even sponsored. It's more like trying to hold the community hostage. But now we see that they are going after non-Nintendo sponsored events with short notice in multiple cases. So to me, it looks like they are really trying to get as much damage as possible, both towards TOs and towards players. You might say that this is like some conspiracy theory. Maybe I'm wrong, but but this is what it looks like to me. And this leads me to my next point, actually. With Main Stage, they actually decided to drop P Plus themselves. Nintendo, as far as we can see from this message, they haven't even been contacted by Nintendo. But they do not feel confident about having P Plus at main stage. So they are just removing it entirely. So now you have tournaments being afraid of having events like P plus, for example, which is also bad. O honestly, with Nintendo aiming for tournaments that are not even sponsored by them, we might be looking in for a timeline that's only going to get worse. When it was only Nintendo sponsored events in the past, some tournaments seemed to like just skip out on the so-called sponsorship and you didn't really have to deal with them. Now it seems like they're targeting every possible event coming up, at least in the US. 
maybe Europe is next, maybe Japan, maybe Australia, I don't know. I also think stuff like Slippy could clearly, clearly be targeted. I mean, Big House had, you know, their event cancelled in the past, right? But they had, you know, a sponsorship by Nintendo, right? Who knows, post-pandemic, online might not be, like, as relevant in terms of tournaments, even though it's, of course, amazing practice. But who knows, uh, on occasion, maybe online events still could be very, very nice to have. Will Nintendo target those as well? We don't know, but to me, it seems very likely, and it seems that we are having a timeline where Nintendo will aim at all possible events. So if you're asking me, I think this is the worst timeline for the Smash community's survival, or maybe not survival, but like their fight against Nintendo. It's like Nintendo are really trying to like make things even more complicated for us. So it seems like it's way worse than in the past, uh, if you ask me. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, if it's anything you think we as a community can do, trying to increase our chances of hosting more successful events without Nintendo interfering with us. Also make sure to give this stream uh, a follow in case you haven't, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!